What up guys, how's it going? I was not planning on making a video today at all. I was out working, getting ready for summer camp. We're getting the paintball area set up and we found something that is kind of a little weird and definitely in a random spot. We found like a random hole in the ground. It's not just like a totally random hole. It is like a man cover hole. Um, JT, yeah. what is it like? Man, you go down there, you fight all kinds of monsters, giant spiders, sewer monsters. It's like, like it's an entrance to the underworld. Yeah. That's really what it is. Yeah, like. Like, we went down there for a second, and we barely made it out alive, so, you know. But I'm, I gotta show you guys, so. You gotta see it. Gotta give the people what they want. That's right. So, uh, as you can see, compared to my foot, it's really not that big of a hole, but I'm a skinny dude, so. So, as you can see, it's like a, a water main. It's like, it's like where two water mains come together. There's a bunch of these giant wheels for turning on and off water. There are tons of cobwebs everywhere. I, I don't think it's really gonna show up on camera, but that sucker right there is the reason why. And uh, if you know me at all, I absolutely hate spiders, but I got, I had to show you guys this. This is so cool. Slightly terrifying. The first time I came down here, I was the first one to come down and uh, I couldn't tell that this right here wasn't a wall. We had poked our heads in and we had seen the walls on all sides, but this opening over here, I thought it was a wall. So I, I came down and when I saw that it wasn't a wall, I kind of freaked out for a second. It, it definitely, I uh, was not expecting it. And then I shone my light and I could see that it only goes back about 30 feet. But I, like, I was wondering for a second if it just, kept going for a long ways, which would have been kind of cool, but I don't know that I, I don't know that I would have, uh, had the, the guts to go much farther at all. And there's so many cobwebs and I, I haven't even gone to the end and I'm not going to, cause there's like a million cobwebs and I don't want to run into any more horrendous looking spiders or the sewer monsters. But I know it doesn't really show, but it goes down about 30 feet or so, just dead ends. It's just the entire thing is all this rock. And you can see the ceiling is actually concrete. I didn't notice right at first, but you can see there's a concrete slab, like a one inch, two inch concrete slab. And it goes all the way down this entire area. So I'm going to get out of here before this guy eats me alive. So, uh, tell us of your experience down there. How'd you make it out alive? Dude, I don't even know. I think I got, I got like the power of Hercules just came on me. I had to rip this 10 headed creature no. apart, just bare hands. Like, I don't even, yeah, it is crazy. That, you, we're you glad you made it out alive. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I'm something, something special. <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, it's all a part of this big, whatever this was. <laughs> yeah, anybody need any work boots? We got a free pair of work boots, a soda can that no longer has markings on it, um, glass bottle. You got a pair. You could you could live back here. You have everything you need. But anyways, that was a totally random thing that we ran into. We're out here. I was like hauling a pallet for a barrier. JT gets my attention, starts waving me over. I show up here. At first we thought it was just this whole little building thing. And then I go to kind of walk back in the woods and I literally almost stepped into this hole before seeing it. I was basically right where JT was, about two feet away. And I just saw a little bit of like blackness. So I, I pulled back a branch and um, the, there is the hole and there's no cover on it. There wasn't any cover on it. So 
Not it's problem. kind of it, yeah, it, it's kind of bad. Although I think technically, I think it might be on our property. I don't really know. But we don't know. The property lines here are all messed up. So if it is on our property, I, I feel like it's some kind of government lines, probably coming from the mountain. They have a bunch of uh, um, reserve water tanks and stuff up there. So this might be the piping that goes up there and um it's just it's kind of crazy we definitely had no ideas here so i wanted to pull out the phone and show you guys what we found but to walk in these woods now, not here. yeah <laughs> now we're gonna be a little terrified any step we take could put us drop us down into a four foot hole with a bunch of wilderness or wild creatures. Wild. But, yeah. Very wild. Very wild. But anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.